Babe, just go in there, go have some dinner, go play some games. They're just so excited to see you. You could lose every single game and it wouldn't matter. Why are you talking about straight to me losing? Hey, be safe. You be safe. Stella's gonna whoop your butt. Hey everyone, I'm Damian Holbrook from TV Guide Magazine and I'm talking with Jen Padalecki from Walker and from an incredible online community you've created. I, I want to talk about that. I want to talk about so much stuff. But first, like, let's talk about Walker. Okay. After all this time, we finally find out who killed Emily. Did you? We're, yeah. Well, it aired. <laughs> or Did you? Really? I don't know. Okay. All right. You but, don't know. Well, they seem to have brought it to some kind of closure. What does that mean for you on the show? Well, I don't know. You'll have to wait and see. <laughs> there's there's a lot TBD. Oh, really? Yeah. You know, there's a lot more episodes that I've filmed. So, okay. you know, All right. you'll have to just wait and see. And how has it been for you filming? I mean, you get to, you literally get to film all of these incredibly romantic scenes with your husband, which are just like, if you just put them all together, it's like the perfect romantic comedy. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of fun. It, it, I will say, you know, if there's any tension between us, it's kind of nice to have like a romantic scene to like blow over. Like, I'm mad at you because the like the kids are blah, blah, blah. And then you're like, I'm, I, you know, we have this romantic, perfectly, you know, laid out scene to interact and, and play out. So it is, it's pretty fun. I mean, yeah. and plus we haven't been together in so long. He's been in Vancouver for 15 years. So for us, it's like, I don't know. I just, I am so grateful for this opportunity and this experience. But well, the great thing is like you and Jared obviously are so, um, you guys are really devoted to um, working on mental health and staying healthy and, and really treating the inside as well as the outside. And your your Instagram and your, your social media presence is so, um, so pro self-care. Uh, which I just absolutely love. What what inspired this? For me, self-care is, I mean, it's many, many things. Mm -hmm. um, I am really passionate about the environment and environmentalism, but I feel like that really starts with your own self-care first. And, you know, it, we're no stranger in our household to talking about anxiety and depression. It's something that both of us have dealt with. It's something that we talk about with our children. We are all, you know, full disclosure in therapy. We are grateful that we can do that. Right. Um, and there's no shame in that game. And I, I think that we need to sort of remove that stigma. But I think a lot of it stems from not addressing mental health. And mm. that's something that we really need to, to do as a community. You know, we want a healthy environment. And I know that you have shared a ton of, of tips for how to like use less. You know, yeah. you even have um, take only what we need. Yep. You know, um, the big takeaway from it is that we wanted to really create a platform where we can have actionable resources and steps that people can take to be more sustainable without the added um, pressure of perfectionism. So with the town platform, you know, it's just providing those resources, highlighting people that are doing the right thing, who are leaders and, you know, with their companies and making the world just a, a overall better place. And you also you do a book club. I do, yeah. Which, all right, so this will this we're gonna post this in May. Um, do you have a May title that we can reveal? The Souvenir Museum by Elizabeth McCracken, who is an Austin author. And we're partnering with the Texas Book Festival, who is an organization here in town that I believe Barbara Bush started. Um, and it's just a really it's I'm so excited. It's a collection of short stories. She's wildly wickedly funny. I think it'll be a great May read and super fun. Also, so um, you've now worked with Jared for several years. You have been on set <laughs> with him. You know that he loves to prank people and you lo he loves to have fun. So I want you to take this opportunity to tell us something about Jared that would embarrass him. Ooh, what would, well, I don't know if I'm, sh maybe this isn't public, but he is terrified of bears. So if anyone wants to prank Jared, please wear a grizzly bear t-shirt, bring a stuffy that's a grizzly bear. Like that is. That is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> that is excellent. Thank you. That is awesome. All right, you guys, Jen Padalecki, thank you so much. Emily on Walker, you guys do not miss this on CW Thursday nights. Jen, it, it's so great to see you again.